Hi guys, Jenny Stevens here. So this video I'm going to be doing my kind of everyday neutral look. Um, I've had quite a few people ask me um, how I get my look and what I do. So I thought I'd do this video for you and just show you. So it's lots of neutral colours, my everyday um, makeup for work. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. So we start off with priming our face. I love this stuff, I literally get everything out of it, hence why I've cut it in half. I've nearly run out. So this just helps keep our makeup staying put and we don't get that cakey look with our foundation. So prime our face. First off, we're going to use our foundation. So this is a liquid foundation from Unique. Make sure you just give it a shake each time you use it. This just helps mix up the foundation so you get the best consistency each time. It comes with a dropper, so we're going to use that. And then I've got this liquid foundation brush, which again is new uh, from Unique. It's got a hole in the middle, so this is specifically made for liquid foundations. So we're just going to squeeze the foundation up into the little dropper place that in the hole that's in the centre and then get ready to apply. So we'll just start by dabbing this around our face and then we can blend it in to get the coverage that we want. This foundation is a really really light feel foundation, it's great coverage and makes your skin feel great. Next we're going to use our concealer, so this is a shade lighter than what I'm currently wearing, so this is going to go under my eyes, so you need a tiny tiny amount, so I'm just going to put a small amount on my ring finger, and then I'm just going to use my fingers to place that underneath my eyes, to just highlight under the eyes, and hide my few little wrinkles. I also have a little spot by my mouth, so that's going to... So we just blend it all in until it's even, ready to go. Okay, so now I'm just going to set that concealer, because it's a liquid, I'm just going to set it with a pale powder that I have. This is also just going to highlight, extra highlight under the eyes, and then I'm going to highlight the other areas on my face. So we start just under the eyes, I'm just dabbing that in just so it sets it going to do then a little V on my forehead, down the centre of my nose and then on my chin. Now I have this gorgeous new contour palette from Smashbox. So I got this recently and I love it. It's got three shades, you've got highlight, contour and a bronze. So I'm going to use the darkest shade which is the contour. It came with this really cute little angled brush so it's perfect for contouring. It's really pigmented so you only need a tiny tiny amount. So I'm just going to pop that underneath my cheekbones and this is just going to help define my face. And because I'm carrying a few extra pounds at the moment it just helps make your face look a little bit slimmer. So we're then just going to blend that in a bit. You can also do down the bridge of your nose, so if you've got a sort of widish nose like I have, then you can also make your nose look slimmer. And also underneath the jawline, again this just adds a bit of shading to just help with any uh, double chins. Now if you want to, if you don't want to use a light powder then this contour palette obviously has a light colour in it, so we can use that instead of the pale powder, so I'm just showing you this nice colour as well that you can use to highlight. Now I'm just going to blend it all in, so I've got this blending brush that I got from Crown Brushes and I just blend it all in so it just looks flawless and uh, you don't get any sharp edges. Okay, so now I'm just going to add a tiny bit of bronzer, this has just got, got a bit of shimmer in it, so I'm going to use my powder puff brush and just do a sort of three shape around my face, It's just to finish off the look and get that nice little glow for the summer. And again, I just blend it, just to make sure that it's all blended in. Okay, so now we can move on to the eyes, so I'm just going to start off by putting an eye primer on my eyes, so again, just using my ring finger, chucking my lid around, uh, just to use your ring finger and just put that eye primer on. This is going to be fantastic to keep your eyeshadow in place and it really brings out the colours as well. 
So I'm using Addiction Palette 1 from Unique. I'm going to use two of the colours. So I'm going to start off with the base colour, which is this first colour. I'm going to be using my deluxe brush or any kind of large headed brush that you want to use and just put this base colour all over my eyelids. Now I'm going to use a darker colour, so I'm going to use this lightish sort of medium brown and I've just got a blending brush for this, so you can use a crease brush. I like this brush just because you can kind of do the two in one, it can go in the crease and then it blends at the same time. So it's a nice fluffy head and it's perfect for blending. So that's all I do for eyeshadows, it's really really subtle, ready to go. Now it's time for the lashes. So my eyelashes are dead straight, so I have to use, I have to heat up my eyelash curlers, and this just really helps keep my eyelashes upright and it stays upright for most of the day. So I'm just curl curling my eyelashes with that heat. Make sure it's not too hot before you pl pl place them on your eyes, so you don't want to burn your eyelids. So now it's time for the mascara. So I love my 3D Fiber Lash Mascara from Unique. So you do gel, fibers, gel. So we start off by using the gel, putting a decent coat. Then we were going to use the fibres, so we just put some of those just to add the length. We go onto the other eye and do exactly the same. And then what we're going to do is then just go back over that first eye and seal in those fibres. So this is a crucial step to make sure you don't get any fibres fall on your face and it just locks in those fibres to give you that gorgeous extended lash. If you need to just use a lash comb to get rid of any clumps, then a metal comb is great for this. Now I have this uh, mascara from Maybelline, it's called Illegal Length, I think it's called. I use this just on the bottom because I like a very natural look on my bottom lashes. So I start off by using a white pencil, so I don't do this every day, but some days I'll use it and it just helps open up your eyes. So just put a white pencil on your waterline. And then I just add in my mascara onto the bottom lashes. Now for the lips, this is a gorgeous lipstick in Well To Do, it's a lovely nude colour. And now I'm just going to do my brows. Now my brows again, I don't always do every single day, but I just fill in the start bit of my eyebrows and then I just do the sort of arch and elongate my brows slightly. I then go over it with a brow gel, this has got a slight colour in it and it just tames any hairs down. So you can see the bit of a difference, I'm quite new to doing brows, so I like it just very natural looking and very subtle, um, just to finish off that look. Say, I mean, I don't do brows every day, but I just wanted to show you what it can look like. So that's my look done, I hope you enjoyed it. The list of products that I've used will be below, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!